That is awesome. <laughs> All right, so we just arrived at uh, the Bow River. We're out here with uh, Canmore Raft Tours today. This is gonna be pretty awesome. Do you feel safe? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah pretty good. Feel safe. Yeah. Survive good. 30 to 40 minutes in the freezing cold water. I don't know about that. <laughs> One of the nicest days I've had here in Canmore. We've got clouds everywhere, um, up in the mountains. We've got just beautiful sunny weather, and uh, we're just gonna float down the river for two hours. Sounds like a pretty decent way to spend uh, Sunday afternoon. So here we go. You are, sir. I'm Peter Miller. I'm a river guide in training. This is John Dawson. Not a river guide. No. <laughs> I'm Chris. This is my second day on the job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a river guide slash owner, co-owner, my wife's an owner too, um, of Canmore Raft Tours. Um, so we're gonna pop into some side channels and take a peek and see what we can see. It's a hot day, so you never know what's gonna be out and about on the shorelines, but overall, our goal today is just to chill out, relax, enjoy the scenery and the perspective of the river from the mountains. That's the, uh, the overall. Yeah, that sounds awful. <laughs> Man, it was a great way to spend a Sunday, just relaxing, just sure hanging out, floating on the river. Or any day for that matter. No right? kidding, huh? So right now we just pulled into a little uh, little channel that kind of cuts through Elk Island here. It's only ex accessible when the water's up pretty high. Yeah. Uh, and right now we're in that secondary runoff we got with the rainfall over the last few days. So there's a little elk just stood up. Okay. Chris, you were saying that basically they, they breed over here. Yeah, not necessarily breed over here, but they they uh, have their young. The, the river creates this natural barrier around it, and it's kind of a safe haven. It's not just elk. Moose do the same thing. They'll kind of you know, kill the scent of where they're traveling and stuff. So. Just six. Well, what are you guys doing? Uh, it's pretty charming. We've got a water polo course set up back here. We're gonna... A polo game. <laughs> I can't tell the teams. Go the office, right, Chris? That's right. You know, we were talking a little bit before when I was out here, but uh, give me the history of how you got into this. I've been paddling a long time. I've been rowing, I've been paddle guiding, I've been in the outdoors for a long time. And you know, you get into it because you love the, the outdoors and you want to share that experience with people. But you know, there was a way that I wanted to, to bring people out and experience, put my own little stamp on something. Um, yeah, we. We spent two years basically going over this section of river. I've paddled this river for 20 years. Um, this, is, this is my backyard. And even if you do it every day, it's not just the scenery that you're doing it for. You're doing it for the connection and the people that we get to meet. 